Sorry. There we go. Find the domain and range on this one. So, um, you guys remember, hopefully, from previous class when we graphed uh, inequalities, right? And maybe you saw something, I'll use a different color, something like this where it goes to the left and something like this where it goes to the right. Maybe they even used uh, square brackets like this. You guys remember that? Maybe a little bit, no? Not at all. Okay. Well, this is the same thing. So, that is correct. Okay, didn't so, <laughs> yeah, so this one would be negative infinity, and then wherever this value is with a parenthesis like that, and would unite this, a union with this square bracket, whatever that value is. And this one would go to infinity, right? This is the same thing. The domain, we're just looking left and right. Okay. Now, we're just looking at these lines as well. Let me get rid of this stuff. So, in other words, I can see that it starts here at this negative 1, and it goes to the left. Now, additionally, it does touch this, this negative 1, so it's included going to the left. Is that okay? And then, again, this is the domain. We're just looking at left and right. It takes a break, and then it starts back up again at 1 and goes to the right. Now, they should have put arrows on this. Sorry, that's scarce resources, all right? But this one would tell us in interval notation that this goes all the way to negative infinity. It's going to stop at this negative 1, which is included, and will unite this from 1 going all the way to infinity. There we go. I think they'll have a spot for you on the homework for this. Now the range though, we've got to look how far up do these graphs go? Infinity, infinity right? How far down does the graph go? Infinity. Negative infinity. So infinity is never included because it's not actually a value. But I only know one person that's counted to infinity. Does anyone know? Chuck Norris? Yeah. <laughs> what? He did it twice, man. <laughs>